Do you know why you have been summoned? No, I do not know. After months of analysis we have finally discovered that the poop we collected contains your DNA. I don't know what you are talking about. Do not play dumb with me. Okay. We know that you are the phantom shitter. You took a shit in the third floor bathroom and left your boxers there. Filled with shit. I did no such thing. On September 13th, 4.45 p.m., we saw you on a videotape rushing into the men's bathroom. And then at 5.25 p.m., you re-emerged without pants. Okay, yes, I admit it. I took a shit. I could not hold it in. Would you rather have me take a shit in the lecture hall? No. Taking a shit in the lecture hall is unprofessional. What would you have done? In the case of an emergency blowout, I would use rib raising and treat the ipsilateral third rib to prevent unnecessary shorticles. But there was a weakness in my fascia. Caused by an ischial spread I had during OPP lab I was unable to withhold my blowout due to somatic dysfunction. You know, there is a Chapman point for that on the ipsilateral third intercostal space. I tried to rub it, but it would have been sexual harassment. I don't think it was professional to rub one out in lecture. Nonsense. If you were a true professional, understanding the principles of osteopathic medicine, you would have trusted your instincts and rubbed it out. So which osteopathic principle says that we are not allowed to have blowouts? Principle number three, structure and function are interrelated. But you also forgot that the body has an inherent capacity to heal itself. I was healing myself by unleashing the bowels of death onto the bathroom floor. You cannot blame my body for self-regulation. You should have acted professionally, and called or emailed after the incident. Really? So when you have a blowout, do you always email a professor and say, Hello, Dean of Clinical Education, I just took a shit in the bathroom, can you please come clean it up? Yes. That would have been the most professional thing to do. It is a part of the school code. In the event of a blowout, you must first do rib raising, and then call three days in advance to tell us that you are about to have a blowout. How am I supposed to predict that I will have a blowout three days in advance? We taught you this in lab if you were a good osteopathic medical student. You should be able to predict upcoming blowouts through deep layer palpation. So was I supposed to palpate my external anal sphincter? No, you should have no to find the Chapman point for that. Principle number one, the body is a unit. I think that you are so full of shit that I just crap myself again. That is unprofessional. I told you to notify me three days in advance. Now you will be punished. Fuck. First, you will not be allowed to go on rotations anywhere outside of this city. And for this time, you are now forbidden to enter yourself into the ACGME match. You can't do that. Yes, yes I can. On your dean's letter, I will make sure to add that you had a massive blowout. I believe that it is blackmailing and is unprofessional. You are in the domain of the gods. You will respect your other lords and do as they say. Otherwise, you will be stripped of your rights to become a physician. Fuck man. Fuck fuck fuck.